bro the news today is crazy let's talk about it what is going on everybody how are y'all doing we have tons of dope news for this video but before we get started give the video a thumbs up like 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 let's get it over 300 likes dope playstation 5 news at the end of this video we got some crazy gamestop news but first mario rabbits kingdom battle 2 rumors have gone into overdrive ubisoft has changed the name of the rabbits twitter account from at rabbits official to at mario rabbits causing fans to anticipate a big announcement soon concerning this franchise now when this game launched for a good while this was the Nintendo Switch's best-selling third-party game. And rightfully so. The gameplay is fantastic. It's a tactical strategy game, but it's so dope. It's hilarious. The story, the plot, how they intertwine the rabbits with the Mushroom Kingdom. Fantastic, fantastic game. If you have a Switch, I would highly recommend this game. And so... Can't wait to see what comes of it. Um, 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 and again, I think all of this is pointing to a direct. I'm getting hyped for a direct. All this stuff that's happening on the internet. Um, I think we might get a Nintendo Direct. Still fingers crossed, still in the rumored mail. But we'll have to see. This would be a dope direct announcement. A new Mario and Rabbids game. The only problem I had with the first game, they should incorporate some kind of online multiplayer into mario rabbits kingdom battle 2. i think this cannot be a one and done just how fantastic the first game sold on the switch the reviews were great i think that this is a franchise that's going to continue if you're a fan of the socom series you'll enjoy this game all right next news item lit I talked about this yesterday when it broke in Japan that there's going to be a Monster Hunter Rise <coughs> Nintendo Switch model dropping. Well, it looks like it's going to now be a global release. Specifically, this um, console has now been confirmed for Europe. And here is the, the official press release. The Nintendo Switch Monster Hunter Rise Edition features an image of Magna Malo, the game's flagship monster, on the dock, along with other evocative Monster Hunter Rise themed designs that adorn the console and both Joy-Con controllers. It also comes bundled, check this out, with a download code for Monster Hunter Rise, plus the Deluxe Kit DLC and bonus content. So this also includes the game and bonus content so that's pretty dope i am more interested in the pro controller i don't have an image of the pro controller i should have got one i showed it in my video yesterday bro go watch my video yesterday i showed the pro controller the pro controller looks lit i might cop that but it so it's been confirmed for japan europe which whenever something is confirmed for those two regions that means a u.s announcement is imminent and would be perfect in a Nintendo Direct. And this is how I honestly think about the Nintendo Directs. Either way, it'll be hyped to have just one big presentation to get hyped after announcement after announcement, or just even if Nintendo announces these things individually, as long as we get the information, as long as we get the content, as long as we get to keep gaming, I'm cool. Next news item, GameStop. 
power to the players. Game stock. Game stock. <laughs> There's a reason why I said that. Game stops stock is going crazy right now. This all started on Reddit. Reddit posters were hyping up the stock with Drew investors' attention, uh, um, um, attention, and then it got so crazy. The stock started to skyrocket so much. Elon Musk, the Telsa guy, he tweeted it out, which threw it into even more of a frenzy, bro. When I was making this video, I said, nah, I can't ignore it. I ended up investing some stock into GameStop. So let's see how it goes. Don't get me wrong. I'm selling quick. <laughs> I'm going to see how it goes by the end of the day. Then I'm selling. I'm selling. I'm selling. I'm being out. Make some quick money to get out. But the GameStop stock is... I'm talking about... It was at... Just recently, like at $11, it was low. The last time I checked... It was trading at $365. Bro, just think about that. From $11, that was trading at $365. That's when I, at the time of this video. Who knows where it's at now, but it is going crazy. Also, right, it's going so crazy. It was on CNN. Right before I um, started recording this video, CNN was talking about what's going on with GameStop. And so I really do think this is just going to be short term. So I'm prepared to sell. But the GameStop stock is insane right now. Reggie. It's all Reggie's doing. The Reginator strikes again. All right. Next news item. Super Mario 3D World is about to launch Bowser's Fury on the Switch in a matter of two weeks. And embargoes have been lifted today for previews of the game. And so far, so great. Not good, great. And I already knew it. I've beaten the game to death on my Wii U. And they're saying that it's going to be phenomenal on the Switch. Some sites are even saying it's going to be the best multiplayer game on the Switch. Adding multiplayer, the Bowser Fury content, and it already had a solid core um, game. And so this is all of the extra stuff. It's just icing on the cake. Can't wait to play this with the sponsors. Um, we're going to have a fun time. Mario 3D World previews are out. Go check out. There's more gameplay and footage and impressions, initial impressions, which are all very, very positive. This is going to be another evergreen title for the Switch and going to continue to sell games for Nintendo. And last but not least, we have a PlayStation State of Play just came out from nowhere. And this one is focused specifically on Destruction All-Stars. State of Play for Destruction All-Stars and the February PlayStation um, Plus free games have been announced. And it's a solid, solid bunch of games. Three games. They're all going to be available on February 2nd. The first one is Destruction All-Stars, the game you see right here. I'm also going to be trying this game out with the sponsors. The game looks dope. I've never been a big fan of um, Rocket League and stuff like that, but this puts a cool spin on it. You can actually run. Run out on the in the arena. Um, Twisted Metal. It seems like the game is playing a little bit of homage to Twisted Metal. The game just looks dope, and it's free, so you can't. Can't complain. Uh, February 2nd. Also, Control Ultimate Edition um, and Concrete Genie. All coming out February 2nd. So, if you have a PS5 like your boy, um, uh, good, good, good games to pick up for free, for free at the beginning of February. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. 
I gotta hook you up. That's right, I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway, but wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.